Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Just came down this abandoned road here. I'm in Titton Falls area of New Jersey by the famous Essex Avenue. You can see some articles on that on Weird New Jersey and Asbury Avenue. This is a great area for history. This was a road. This actually was a road, if you look at historicaerials.com, that continued on and would have gone across where the parkway, Garden State Parkway, is now. But when they built the parkway, this road kind of stopped being used. So you can see this bridge here. This is an abandoned bridge. This is a, a mystery road. A lot of people that live in the town now don't know about this particular roadway and uh, there's actually two abandoned bridges there's this one and i heard there's one up ahead that uh, might have collapsed uh, but according to historic aerials.com this would have been built in the 30s and 40s and then uh, became abandoned in the mid to late 50s when the parkway came through um, it's a concrete bridge but i see here some writing on the side I believe it says free range. Dave Francis. You can see the steel structure down below. Seems to be in good shape. Uh, a tip, someone that watches my channel regularly had mentioned this and they said it was worthwhile checking out. So I did some research online and uh, located the location, found a great place to park and rode my bike in. You can see this particular section has collapsed. You can see it was built with steel rebarb. You can see that it's completely sagged down. Someone could have drove a vehicle that was too heavy for it or just over time it could have deteriorated and collapsed. You can see the steel beam in the middle. The railing structure is just pretty basic. So I don't think this was an actual highway. Uh, I believe it was just a, a private road for a farm that would have been located in the area that's no longer here. On the way in, I saw piles of concrete, maybe from a building that was torn down. See, they used unions here to uh, connect the piping. It's got a lot of dirt piled up on top of it. You can see the concrete structure here. It's pretty sound. I wouldn't recommend uh, utilizing it to drive a vehicle over, but by the looks of the path, uh, it doesn't appear that it would be possible anyway. garbage in the little brook down below. I don't see any more names engraved in the side. All right, I'm just going to get back on my bike. We'll drive up to the next location. Up the road a little bit more, I found a massive pile of concrete. So it looks like the road might have been concrete at one point and they actually took it up and they, they piled all the pieces here. So you can see the really thick slabs of concrete piled up here. It's a pretty big pile, leaves covering everything. And then we got the curbing off to the side here. What's really cool about this is there's some old pieces of uh, slate here, or granite or some type of rock material that actually has yellow painted on. So that was a yellow curb for the road. Uh, really cool. There's a whole bunch of pieces like that. But there's also a lot of garbage mixed in. So right here we got a big heavy metal drawer. For a filing cabinet 
thrown right in with everything. It's a cool little front. If you're doing some rustic decoration, you could maybe utilize that piece a little bit more. And this pile this is uh, just keeps going on and on for probably about 100 feet. You can see also, too, some more pieces of metal mixed in. Some more of the yellow curbing I spoke about earlier. Whoa, this pile is a little bit loose, so be careful if you start climbing on it. So all just basically discarded in the woods and forgotten about. You can see how far it goes on in this direction here. And I bet you all throughout this pile, there's lots of cool little artifacts. You can see here, one of those clay pipes that was built in, so this might have been a part of the drainage on the road. An old, uh, it was green at one point, like a roadside post. This looks like it would have been a section of one of the bridges. Look at the rebarb, how rusted out it is. It lacks all the ribs, the big thick ribs that you would have had at one point that all kind of washed away. We have some more of the yellow curbing throughout and that's where we started we started right down there all right we're gonna continue on the road we'll go look for this other bridge continuing down the road is the second of the two abandoned bridges here this one's completely washed out if you look at the maps you'll actually see even on the recent maps, that the road would have continued through this neighborhood here in Tinton Falls, down this path, all the way to the first bridge we've seen. But this one's gone. You can see here, the hunks of concrete, all collapsed. The landing would have probably been in this area but at one point it flooded and washed everything away. If you drive through the residential neighborhood, it's so overgrown now that you don't even see that the road would have existed. But you can see on the maps, because you can see the tree line that separates the two sides of the path. So when you're studying old maps or new maps, you could actually see where roads were based on the tree lines. So you can see the brush in the middle. You can see a complete tree line on the, on the right, and a complete tree line on the left. And that will give you an idea that there was a road or is a road there currently. Well, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I love it. I'll see you soon.